Hey y'all, so let me tell y'all, somebody hacked my PayPal account and changed all my information and I had to reopen a new PayPal account. But the messed up part about it is that I believe I know who it was. It was this girl that I had met off of Facebook. I know. I'm always trustworthy, and um, I was telling her, she was telling me about some shit that you could uh, make money off of PayPal, and my stupid ass gave my information, thinking that, um, and then she was like, oh, I'm having a problem, so when I, in the morning, I come back, and you know, to try to put my stuff on my games and stuff that I have, you know, I play for, pay, for PayPal. And it says, oh, invalid. I'm still, I'll be goddamn. I, I, that happened again. I'm like, okay. So, it's okay. There was nothing on there anyway, so. But, um, I did apply for a new job. Basically, this job is just like a temporary agency. I, re- I know I said I would never do that again. But, times are hard and times are desperate right now. So, what this is, this, I don't know if y'all ever heard of People Ready. So, um... Basically, they said they find jobs all over the world. So, and everything. So, I passed the test. Let me tell you, anybody that never did a people ready test, it's, it's crazy. It asks you crazy ass questions like, uh, have you ever stolen anything and all that kind of stuff. But I passed the test. I'm like, come on now. Who wants to say some shit like that? But I never stole nothing. But anyway, so right now, what they got on their jobs now is just basically, um, Construction. I don't do construction, so now the job that I was trying to do, um, it was just too damn far. It was a half hour away. I don't know what's going on with my job. I have not got nothing saying that they can open nothing yet. I know that they say they open stuff back up, but see, I'm a housekeeper. I had called a couple. Oh, I did apply for a job at a hotel in Irvington, I think, and um, we'll see what happened with that. And um, I'm going to apply for another job Friday. It's a laundromat job. So, but people ready, whenever they have a job, all I got to do is just basically like, I go and be like, okay, I'm going to do this job. And then I let them know at the branch that I'm doing this job. And then they will, you know, put the money in or whatever. You get paid right then and there. So it takes 72 hours, but you get paid. So that's what I'm going to be doing for now until, you know, something comes up. Oh, and my unemployment came that I did not get accepted, which I figured because I didn't, I wasn't working that long, you know? Um, so yeah, so I guess now I got to, uh, wait for them to pick up from this. They say my, my New Jersey Department of Labor Unemployment Insurance, it says this is from Venlet, Venlet, New Jersey. And basically it says that if the zeros has been entered in item two, where the hell is item two at? I don't even see item two, to be honest with you. Item two, that means that your claim is invalid and you are ineligible to receive benefits. Because of the base year period, which is that I did not work long enough. Majority of the jobs that I had, like, were seasonal jobs. That's understandable. So, yeah. That's all. Basically, they just said that um, it did not, that I did not qualify or whatever. Okay. So be it. But, yeah, um, other than that, I'm going to just keep smiling and keep shining. And, you know, people are just trying to tear me down. Um, but it's not going to work. You know? With that being said, y'all have a good one. Um, I'm resting tomorrow. It's nothing to do. I'm still applying for jobs, you know, but, um, I'm just going to Friday. I'm going to apply for a laundromat job and, um, I'll just keep y'all posted. Y'all, y'all pray for me. Pray that I get a job. I mean, pray that something comes. I'm be looking at people ready and like posting different parts of it to see what they have. Joy, they have construction. I don't do construction, you know. But all right, y'all. Peace.